Good morning and welcome to our online art lesson. In today's art lesson, we are going to be celebrating spring by designing our own garden full of root vegetables. A root vegetable is a vegetable that grows beneath the ground. The three root vegetables we're going to be discussing today are radishes, carrots, and potatoes. So, all you need to design your own garden is a piece of paper, something to draw with. I'm using a Sharpie, but you could use a pencil, whatever you have at home. And lastly, something to color with. I used watercolor paints in my original, like you can see here. <clears throat> but of course, you do not have to use watercolor paints. You could use um, crayons, markers, Sharpies, color pencils, whatever you happen to have. So to get started, on your piece of paper, you're going to draw a wavy line straight down the center. This is going to be where our dirt is. And the first vegetable we're going to talk about how to draw is a radish. So to draw a radish, you're going to draw a circle beneath the dirt, but you don't want to close it off all the way. You want to leave a little bit of space right here. And we're just going to add a little tail at the bottom of our radish. And then we're going to add a little wavy line and maybe some details on our radish as well. So maybe some little lines like this. And now we need to draw the leaves that go above the ground. So radishes have some large fluffy leaves. So we're going to draw one line going up, one line going to the side, and one more on the other side. And then we're just going to add those leaves around those lines. So we're going to take a wavy line and just add this wavy line around those. And then lastly, on our leaves, we're just going to add a few details. We're going to do some lines going up. And there is our first root vegetable, the radish. Now we're going to move on to our carrots. So I think we all know what carrots look like. They're sort of like upside down triangles. So there's our carrot. Again, I'm going to add a few details on the sides and maybe a couple in the middle. And now we're going to draw our leaves. So carrot leaves are very tall and almost spiky looking. So we're going to draw five lines that go up, but are all kind of close to each other. See how they're all touching right here? So we have our lines going up, and now we're just going to add zigzag lines around our lines that go up. And there is our carrot. So we have our radish, we have our carrot, and lastly, we're going to draw our potato plant. So this part is a little bit tricky. So right above where the soil starts, we're going to draw a line that goes down like this, and then another one right next to it so it kind of connects. See how that kind of connects? And then going off, we're going to add one potato here, a potato here, a potato here, over here, and maybe one more big one right here. A potato plant can grow multiple potatoes at one time, so we want to draw multiple potatoes on there, and then add a few little details. And now we don't want floating potatoes, we want to make sure they all connect. So let's draw a line from our plant stem to our potatoes. <clears throat> and here we have the start of our potato plant. Now we're just going to add a few more roots. We're just going to do some wavy lines with some little lines that go off of it. This is our root system. This is what helps the potato grow nice and big. And there is the underground part of our potato plant. Now, just like our radish and our carrot, we just need to finish up on top. So right here where we went a little bit above the dirt, we're gonna go all the way up. And then we're going to add 
six lines. Two, three, four, and some small ones at the top. Five, six. And now on these lines, we just need to add our leaves. We're going to add little leaves. They're almost like little ovals with points at the ends. And there are our three main root vegetables. We have our radish, we have our carrot, and we have our potato. Now we're just going to add a couple of details. So into the dirt, we're going to add maybe some little rocks. Maybe you could add a little worm crawling in the dirt. Maybe you could add an ant crawling in the dirt. Some bugs, some rocks, whatever you think belongs in the dirt. Maybe a garden snake. We're going to decorate our dirt with our animals and our rocks. <clears throat> and then lastly, if you have space, you could even add the sun shining down. Because remember, you need lots of sun to grow good plants. And there we go. There is our finished root vegetable drawing. So remember, first we went in with our marker, or our Sharpie, or our pencil. We drew our dirt straight down the middle. And then we did our vegetables with our vegetable part first beneath the ground and then our leaves on top. We added in the details on our vegetables. We added in some rocks and bugs into the dirt. And then we added a nice little sunshine right above. So after you finish drawing, you can go in with your coloring tool and add color to your art. And then you have a finished root vegetable garden. So as always, make sure you take a picture and send it to me. I'll put my email down below. I would love to see the art that you're creating, and I can't wait to see you again.